Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. A bit ago I made this face from wood came, that came from my wood turning club and uh, at the last meeting I got yet another piece of very the same species but a little bit different coloration of wood. So I decided to make another one with a little bit different rim. The coloration, the rings are not quite as colorful on the new one as the old one so I still kind of like this one better but I decided to explore a different shape and a different lip. The uh, sizes are similar. So this one is just more of a flare out of the rim rather than a reverse turn. Uh, I'm not sure which one I prefer. I think each has its place. What do you think? Meanwhile, let's make this small bowl from ash. Since the sides are parallel, I'm mounting this piece of ash directly against the face of my chuck jaws, held only by live center pressure. Since I've nipped off the corners, rounding with my gouge does not take very long. Now that I can get serious, I'm marking the base for a mounting tenon. Then I can shape the exterior, leaving a wide rim. I'm cutting another bump near the tenon to guide my eye while I establish the outside curve. Once the basic shape is set, I'm switching to a shear scraping to refine the curve and have a very smooth surface. Then sand the exterior up through the grits. I'm reversing the wood now into my small, deep, sharp jaws. I'm hollowing with my gouge, leaving the walls about one quarter inch thick and a bit thicker at the bottom so that I have enough to tool the foot later. I'm finishing up with a round nose scraper. I double, triple check the depth because I hate funnels. Turning a bowl is a big part of what got me excited about wood turning and drove my purchase of a large lathe. I turn a lot of different projects, but I always enjoy turning a bowl, whether large or small. This size of rim fits my large jaws. However, I'm more comfortable padding the edge with three layers of masking tape. I again measure the base thickness to finalize how much more to remove in shaping the foot. I can go clear to just below the bottom bump. After using the gouge, I'm finishing the bottom with my skew as a scraper. I want to define the transition on both the inside and outside of the bottom foot. I'm also adding two concentric grooves in the center. After sanding the foot area, I sign with my pyrography pen before remounting it to the lathe for a final quick sand to remove scorched wood. Afterwards, I finish it with walnut oil. I like my little bowl. It has a nice weight and complements the earlier one from the same species of wood with the reverse slip. If I get another block like this, I'll turn one without a brim. What other styles can I think of? Hmm. That's all for this little bowl. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, and tell your friends. Please wear your full face shield. You'll thank me later. I'm Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns, Every week I make a new wood turning video, so come on back.